welcome to CNBC TV 18 and Salesforce present Bharat Trailblazers and I'm your host Ruchira Sharma. Currently, India is the fifth largest economy of the world and it is soon expected to become the third largest economy. In fact, as for experts, this is going to happen by the year 2028. India is being hailed as an emerging superpower and why not because it boasts of a young demographic, diverse market opportunities and a rapidly developing economy. But at the core of India's growth story are small and medium businesses. Currently, there are more than six crore SMEs and 100 plus unicorn startups in the country that are fueling the growth of the nation. These are primary engines of economic progress and are fueling job creation, innovation and investments. So today on this show, we will focus on such organizations that have been leaders, innovators and trailblazers. We will understand the challenges that they face and also decode how they are overcoming these challenges by deploying technology and their plans for the future. Today on the show, I'm joined by Ms. Madhumita Agarwal, co-founder and CEO of Ben Electric. Oben Electric is an electric two-wheeler company that has been a trailblazer in many ways. A research and development driven organization into designing, developing and manufacturing electric motorcycles in-house along with critical EV components. So thank you Madhumita, it's a great pleasure to have you here with us. Thank you so much for having me here and it's a great opportunity. Yes, India is at the realm of you know innovation, entrepreneurship and a lot of startups making big stories and great products. So thank you, thank you so much for having me here. So uh, let's begin with the you know background here. Founded in August 2022 by IIT and IIM Alums, headquartered in Bengaluru. This electric vehicle company has been a trailblazer in so many ways because within 15 days of the launch, you received 15,000 bookings. You were overbooked by 25,000 for the entire year and you've just made your first delivery in July right as we speak so tell me about your journey because there are some remarkable milestones here yeah. uh, yes so Oben electric as uh, you know the word Oben means like you know, at the top it's a German word so somewhere we strongly believe you know in the innovation and R&D mm -hmm. and that is where companies any in any segment you know these companies will differentiate if there is a kind of a R&D focused you know uh, focused in the within the company sure so uh, this journey definitely started August 2020 where with a vision to build design first mm -hmm. of all design in India and develop and manufacture in India for the world right. So that has been our vision in the company mm -hmm. and we started with uh, grounds up developing not just designing the product. Sure. but also developing our own components mm -hmm. some of the very critical components because an electric vehicle what has changed is the entire power system that mm. is your battery motor and there are a lot of electronics component which comes into it mm. right so and these it are is a nascent ecosystem yes, right now very much so uh, when you see it's just not that one company coming up it's the entire ecosystem has to develop mm -hmm. right so from very first our focus was that we have to build the entire stack Definitely. It cannot be just in silos that you are doing some part of it. Mm -hmm. And really to bring in the right kind of product, a quality product, sure. you have to kind of uh, have those kind of R&Ds, mm -hmm. very specific to the customer, geography, market, and what segment you are targeting. So our journey started with you know designing the entire product, developing mm -hmm. our own battery, own motor, and sure. entering into motorcycle mm -hmm. which is like you know India is the world's largest motorcycle you know market and that's where we saw a huge gap you know a big opportunity Definitely. to kind of come up with a motorcycle mm -hmm. and that's yes now the customers have started also driving as you know in July we started our deliveries and uh, getting a very good response sure. yes so that's where the journey has just started that brings me to my next question Open Electric has been an early mover yeah. it's leading the adoption of electric motorcycles in India so how competitive is the landscape currently and how are you as an early mover staying ahead of the curve See, first of all, uh, innovation and R&D is the core if mm -hmm. you want to really be ahead of the game. Yes. 
Second, we are in motorcycles and uh, we are as uh, very rightly mentioned, we are having a very big advantage that's on the, you know, being very few, very few players mm -hmm. who are in motorcycle that gives us an advantage. But what uh, has really kept us apart mm -hmm. or what the consumer is experiencing from our uh, open roar yes. is the experience because a motorcycle comes with a lot of different kind of attributes. It, uh, it is driven because there is a performance, there mm -hmm. is an experience there yes. with, uh, which the consumer is used to driving, you know, a motorcycle, mm -hmm. every one of us, even I was a rider, right? Yes. And everyone has been there driving a motorcycle. So and they're what, passionate about yes, it. Yes, passionate. Right? It's about passion. It's yes. a pa very, very aspirational product. Mm. So first, as an organization, our first target was that we have to build a motorcycle first. Mm -hmm. You know, that is what the consumer uh, has looked up to and that is what will make her, him or her shift. Mm -hmm. Second, what has changed in EV is the refueling experience. How mm -hmm. do I charge? What is the charge time? Um, uh, whether the vehicle, if I want to go for a ride, what is the issue? So the charging ecosystem, charging system, charging solution. Which is so also evolving and yes, I think again yes, Bengaluru absolutely. is leading that. Yes, yes. I think <laughs> Bengaluru is right now the EV hub, yes. the next EV startup, EV centric uh, automotive you mm -hmm. know, uh, hub it's becoming. So the second problem what we see that or the uh, I would say the R&D problem was mm -hmm. for us that the charging solution. We are All the right. one of the I would say only one right now in two wheelers who has mm -hmm. introduced a uh, battery chemistry and we are the leaders in that right. and uh, definitely you know that is a very important core in the EV right the charging sure. solution and all and then all of it you have to bring it uh, you know pack it well design it well and give it at a competitive pricing definitely. so these are certain things what we have focused and which has kept us you know ahead and which the consumers are loving it and giving up very, very positive feedback, yeah. All right. So, uh, could you tell us how are you really leveraging Salesforce as your partner when it comes to your sales cycle and also streamlining the entire sales process? Yeah. So, as a company, first of all, you know, we very strongly believe that uh, technology is very important to be uh, from being a small organization, uh, not organized, small startup to build an organization. Mm -hmm. And the road is that implementing tech, uh, technology, uh, making your processes better, mm -hmm. and which leads to uh, better efficiency. And so enhances ena productivity. Yeah, yes. enhances uh, productivity, right? So the time of, uh, you know, working on Excel sheets have gone, right? Mm -hmm. It's the time when we adapt new tech. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of automation which helps us to kind of really grow in scale sure. because we are talking about scale right yes. we are not talking about any mom and pop shop mm -hmm. where you know uh, things are different things were done on uh, you know paper excel and, paper, and all yes, yes. so that is not you are talking about uh, being automation, an organization yes. a global player mm -hmm. so i think salesforce has definitely helped us and uh, I think from day one when we uh, started you know mm -hmm. when we interacted with the customer when we launched our product the first customers was onboarded via Salesforce All right. so this was something from day one we believed that we need a technology to really give us that scale mm -hmm. and I strongly believe any kind of technology and Salesforce has helped us in kind of scaling up how do you, you know, kind of from uh, one customer to, you know, handling Scale up whole to bigger volumes. Yes, yes, yes. And there are many, many, uh, many aspects to it, how in different ways it helps. Yeah. All right. So, um, uh, you know, you spoke about sales and the sales cycle. How are you using Salesforce and its solutions to automate marketing or, uh, you know, lead nurturing and make the whole marketing process kind of more effective and impactful? If you could bring in some numbers or share some metrics there. See, first of all, uh, Everything what we are doing, we are doing for customer, right? So first I feel the interaction mm -hmm. with customer, the bridge between the customer, that's built by Salesforce. Internal, I'll talk later how it has been, sure. you know, giving us a kind of a help, support in the internal process. Mm -hmm. But it's the first thing is the customer, right? The kind of interaction or the bridge between the customer yes. we can have. Uh, that is very, very important, right? Uh, sure. In a very layman uh, you language, know, language yes. I would like to say that everything which we, uh, the product we are developing or if we want to uh, kind of even let the product be known also. Mm -hmm. So you need a technology in us uh, if you want to get it percolated at scale. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. So I think Salesforce has been uh, instrumental in that because uh, we thinking about reaching out to millions of people hmm. and that cannot be possible unless until you have a system in place. Yes. So that's the first thing, it's a bridge between our customer. Mm -hmm. That's a very strong bridge and it's sure. a communication channel between the customer. That's the first thing. Second, internally how it helps is that uh, there is a lot of data, right? And there is a lot of insights mm -hmm. that come in. And uh, how do you manage those data? First is you manage the data. Right. And second is how do you get the right kind of insights so that you can improve upon it, right? All right. And uh, this all leads to also a very important thing, privacy. Of course. Privacy of the data. Security how do you manage, privacy, how, yes. what's the security level? So mm -hmm. these systems, like, you know, uh, systems like Salesforce, they help us and make us better. Mm -hmm. So I think that is how from the external side, from the customer side and from internal, uh, you know, in-house, mm -hmm. uh, this, uh, you know, the Salesforce has really helped us. All right. What is the suggestion you'd like to give to other players while they're starting out? Any suggestions from your own learnings? See, right now, definitely India is at that, you know, point where it is about India is becoming, you know, the biggest leader in every segment, mm -hmm. right? As a startup or as a growing company, first of all, I, we as a company or I strongly believe innovation is very important at every level. It mm -hmm. cannot be just what you're developing. It could be in your processes. It could be in every department, rather, sure. I would say. In our case, that uh, not just in technology, what product we are developing to give a better product, we mm -hmm. focused on innovation, but it was at, across in finance, in uh, sales and marketing, everywhere we had kind of adopt to technologies and how we can innovate and improve processes right and business this is, outcomes yes at the yes end. and i think there has to be a budget allocation by the companies those mm -hmm. who are you know want to become the global leaders mm -hmm. to invest in technology that's something is very very important don't put uh, you know we can save money we you know by not just uh, whether it's hr mm -hmm. you know you have to have those hr systems, systems in, in place, place yes. yeah if you want to you know in the sales and marketing yeah, for us the decision of getting into a platform which mm -hmm. is like uh, which helps us you know across channels right uh, one platform that is somewhere I think these calls, whether it's finance, whether it is your, you know, all the other Marketing functions, these sales, are very, very yes. important uh, support functions, mm -hmm. not just your main product uh, streamline. All these support functions have to be also technology enabled. And that is where you can overall grow and become a global leader. This is a, uh, a sincere and see, uh, you know, serious advice that please invest in technology and it has to be across functions it's not just limited to your product or what you are selling very interesting point there madhumita thank you so much madhumita for sharing your learnings your experiences and your knowledge thank you all for watching and thank you for joining thank us thank you madhumita. thank you so much for having me thank you yeah. so much